On today's episode, we're gonna redesign the website of the NSA. Woo, stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another episode of Pimp My Website. So last week I asked on my Instagram, which website should I redesign? And I got this message, the NSA. And I thought, ooh, let me check out the website of the NSA. So this is the website of the National Security Agency, which now has been combined with CSS. But this is not cascading style sheets. This is the Central Security Service. Now, what you see on this website, and I think this is very common to a lot of big organization or governmental organization, is that because this is such a huge organization that has so many divisions and they're doing so many things, they could not agree on a priority or a goal for the website. And every division, it was like, I want to be on the homepage. This is important and this is important. And the end result is that you're just overwhelmed with tons of things here that you don't even know where to look at. So even in terms of you know hierarchy, I don't know where to look. Is this the logo or the what's new or this or this huge you know, navigation that we have here or there's tons of tons of stuff and there's really no hierarchy here, no call to action and I don't know where to start. I don't even know how to digest this. And this is the problem. This is actually why when you're working with big companies, you can charge a lot more money because it's not because it's harder to design, but it's harder to get them to agree on what to design and how to prioritize. And all the work is getting them in a meeting and getting them to agree what are the priorities and the goals. So with that in mind, I assume it's been a very hard challenge to design this. So the way I approached this was how can we simplify this? How can we make this much more simple and easy to digest? Now, I went ahead and redesigned this and I forgot to record my screen. And then after talking for like 30 minutes and showing you every step of the way, it turned out that I did not record my screen. That was, that was, not fun for me. So let me just jump into the end result of my redesign and explain to you why I did what I did. So I am in XD and this is on the left, you can see my redesign and on the right, the original one. And I'll try to explain why I did what I did. So let's start with the navigation. So the navigation here is very complex and it's kind of like two rows where they crammed the, the, the their slogan and also this and the search and everything. So what I did, first of all, I went ahead and made the website a little bit more wide. So here the container is pretty, pretty small. It's 1,100 pixels, which is okay. But I think because we have so much content, I try to make it a little bit wider. And so I've removed the, these slogans because I've actually turned them into a title that's going to be the first kind of thing that you see on the website. And once I remove them, I could fit everything in one row. I also minimize the search. I don't really think you have to see the, the open search field. And so we can just put an icon and when we hover over it, it's going to open or something is going to happen. We don't really have to show the open search field. And that way, the, the menu is a little bit more compressed. Now, this thing that we have here, NSA seeking proposals from colleges, I understand that this is something that's temporary, right? Every once in a while, they have a changing priority where they want to lead you into this. It's not really what they're all about, but it's something temporary. So I created this kind of a box here that might change. Maybe you even want to turn it into a carousel, but it's very clear that this is something that they're promoting right now. And I've added a clear call to action because what you have here, there's nowhere that's really directing you to click, right? There's no clear call to action here. There's just a bunch of stuff. Here, at least now we have clear call to action for learn more because this is seemingly their first priority at the moment. Now, the way that I know that this is more important than the what's new is that when I went ahead and checked their mobile version, you can see that their mobile version is actually more simplified than their desktop one. And you can see that this was basically the first priority. So I went ahead and kind of used, put some kind of a technological pattern in the background because they also had something technological right here. I've used these slogans as the main title of the website and used this as kind of the first priority. Now, when it comes to the news, I think this is kind of a boring way to explore the news. People don't really like to read line after line and this is boring, doesn't give any context. So I turned this into a little bit of a kind of like a cardi where you have an image, so it's, at least it's a little bit more enticing to look at each of them. You also have a context around when the date is, and you probably want to click this, or at least it's more visible what the items are than just seeing the list 
right here. Now, with this component here that I'm really not sure what is this, I th just think it's each division trying to promote its recent articles. And what I thought was that what's really important is to see what they're doing, like that they're doing research and they're doing cybersecurity and they're doing, they have stuff for students and, you know, they want to promote these issues, but you don't have to make them all visible at first glance just because it's a little bit overwhelming. So I chose to go with something like a tabs component where you can visibly show what the topics are, but only when you click them, you can see one of them. And then I also turned this into a kind of like um, bullet points list, more spaced out because I think it's a little bit more digestible to read. Now, I, to be honest, I don't think it's the most prettiest thing in the world. And, you know, given I only had like 20, 30 minutes to do this, I think this is okay. I would probably, I can make this prettier. I would want to make this prettier. But I think in terms of functionality, this probably works better than this because it's a lot less overwhelming. In terms of the footer, I didn't do anything. Actually, the footer is okay. I'd probably just align this somewhere. But yeah. This is what I was able to do in about 20 minutes. I hope this was valuable to you in terms of seeing how I think about simplifying things, about prioritizing and you know, trying to avoid this overwhelm of this is important and this is important and this is important. So I hope you've found value in that. Let me know in the comments, which website do you want me to redesign next week? And I'll try to remember to record my screen. If that's valuable for you, let me know in the comments as well, if that's valuable for you to see me actually do the build within XD, or you just want to see the end result. One last thing before we go is on the last episode, we did a redesign of the and Park Nonprofit Against Racism. And I also made a challenge for my Webflow students to actually redesign and build the website within Webflow. And I wanna show you the winning um, submission from Enrico. This is what he did. Let me just show you the original End Park website. End Park, um, which is really, you know, you should definitely check the last episode, but this is the website that they have right now. And he did this, which I think is really fantastic with this illustration and animation, really nice way to present all the information and using emojis to kind of make this much more personal. I really, really love this redesign. And so Enrique won AirPods Pro because that's the challenge for my Webflow Masterclass students. Check out the video for the last week's episode and I will see you next week.